Good morning from our floating home called Lady Pennybun. We have had an exciting couple of days. We, well, we've been just chilling on the boat, but just exploring our local area. I've gone for nice walks. And we also met up with Ben and Emily. We've been talking with them online for years, I would say. Yeah, like definitely years. Literally years. Yeah. <laughs> and we just, obviously, they're from, well, they their boat's up north and we're further down south. So, yeah, we met halfway in the middle. We met in Oxford. We went and looked around the canals there. Stunning. It took us ages to find. Um, but yeah, we went for lunch with them. Felt like we were just sitting down with old friends. It was really nice. Just, <laughs> yeah, it was lovely to meet them, wasn't it? And I'm yeah, sure... it literally feels like we've known them for years. Yeah. Well, we have, but like actually in person. Yeah, it's funny. Felt yeah, starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was so nice to finally meet them. And yeah, we can't wait to meet them again. Maybe we'll do an adventure with them on the boats um, or in the boats or in vehicles on or road. something like that <laughs> so yeah that was nice um but today we're going to be moving the boat we can't go too far because of more stoppages so we're just going to go up past the next lock because then this stoppage starts which means we won't be able to get any further so we're going to yep. do that today and also what day is it today 26 i think that spring oh, roll this lock video stoppage. is going to be up too late now but it is still january oh. when we're filming this um so i'm going to do my january food thing that I want to do one a, one a month so it is still January even though this will be up in February this one's probably a bit easier so I'm going to be making some fire cider if any of you've heard of that before um, but yeah we're going to get moving it was really windy the past couple of nights mm, hasn't it like yeah. it kept me up the night remember, it's before a we met Ben and Emily it's a different storm now but I think it's passed but yeah it's really yeah. quite windy I when I like woke up this morning I didn't know if we'd be able to move the boat because it was like so windy last night but it's okay and it's dry mm. Right, yeah, we're going to past Uxbridge Lock today because that's okay. the one that shuts on the 29th. It's now 26. Cracking day for it. Touch windy. Careful. I washed the boat yesterday, or one half of it at least, down at the water point and the uh, cracked cover because it was filthy green with like moss or algae or whatever it is. Um, so I'm hoping the next water point's on the port side so I can wash that so that does let it down a bit now. Um, not too far a cruise now, I think it's like half an hour. We've walked up and down this stretch because we're at um, Uxbridge Moor at the minute, I think it's called, by the Malt Shovel pub. There's some 14 day visitor moorings with rings, really nice little spot actually, uh, which is about half an hour walk up to Uxbridge itself. So we're just going virtually parallel with Uxbridge on the canal past this lock that's going to close in a couple of days. Furthest north we've been. <laughs> you need to get your parcels as well. Yes, got an Amazon locker I've sent a few things to and we need some more petrol for the generator so yeah kill two birds one stone there i think be good wouldn't it uh, seen so many foxes since he's been up around this way go what, there's one that keeps going to and from the uni campus i reckon someone's feeding him i'd feed him they're, they're almost tame. They're like, they won't run away from you, but they're just a bit cautious. I think if you had food, they'd probably come and take it from you. I am strolling along, just minding my business, humming a song. I'm happy by myself, not a care in the world. This is a life, just me, myself, and I. I am watching the clouds up in the sky, all but laughing out loud. I'm telling you why I'm living the life Just me, myself, and I I used to think that life was cold and lonely When you up and left me Sadness overwhelming Me, I am out and about Just coming past a swollen bottle, pub right on the canal, and then locked literally just there. Thank you. 
heard about another stoppage oh. viaduct. I think Ben and Bree told me about it oh dear. from the 1st of Feb, but it's only a little bit further. But we can stay here whilst we go and see Sophie and Duncan, Winston, and Sophie, Winston, Home and Time, and Marigold. Marigold, that's it. Sorry. Gosh. Uh, Say that again? This one they're repairing. Again. Oh, the joys. Bloody hell, I need a shave. Good morning. We haven't picked the camera up in like four days because it's still a bit of a sore subject of Danny losing her phone. Almost to the day, two years since she last did it, which is sweet. Little anniversary. Little anniversary phone drop for you, is it? <laughs> I'll put the video up here somewhere where it last fell in. I literally just finished paying it off the contract as well, which is great. But thanks to phone insurance. 100 quid has been delivered to my parents like tomorrow, I think, today, tomorrow. Today we're going up to basically Springwell Lock, I think. There's a walk point just before it. Springwell's the one that's been shut. It's opening back up this evening about four o'clock, so it probably won't make it through. Um, they extended it by a couple of days, so it's not gonna open until the 1st of January officially. Or 30th. That's 1st of February, sorry. It's not the 30th of Jan, so it should open officially tomorrow. And we'll move up past it tomorrow to Rickmansworth, which looks nice. Shall I get us on the move then? We've been having a bath for about half an hour. Didn't hear you. Danny's going back to Somerset to work again, thank God, to a bit more peace and quiet and we get some bits done. Hey! <laughs> Everyone liked me calling you my colleague, so I think you will be my colleague from now on. No, I'm not your colleague. Well, technically, you are my colleague. You are my employee at, at the minute. Employee. Huh? No, you are my employee at the minute. You wait till your appraisal. Mm. Not very good, missus, not very good. Right, let's go. Do you know what appraisal work I told you? Huh? I never had one in my two jobs. What are you doing then? Joe, can I just finish? I just need to get the condition out of my hair. Um, I've got to say that we did actually try and rescue Danny's phone. You went into town, yeah. bought a fishing net, but it was just so weak. When it? it just kept bending, you just couldn't feel anything. And then I tried the magnets. Um, they're not really magnetic apart from on a very specific bit on the back, so unless it landed I can't even get my right phone there. to charge when it's just there or those With those magnets, magnets yeah, so I wasn't cool. sad by the phone, I'm sad that I know I haven't backed up my photos for quite a while and also to become a nurse or to apply for a new job for a nurse they require a lot of information like a DBS check, which is like a police check as well as your qualifications and vaccinations, blah blah blah, a lot of information and I had it in a very easy folder on my phone and yeah so I was sad about those two things really um, and I wasn't having a good day in the morning anyway so that did not help but we move on um, and I've managed to read a lot since then so it just shows how much you end up scrolling <clears throat> but hopefully I'm gonna get one when I go back to Somerset or it will have arrived with our insurance but yeah, I'm just hoping that it's backed up, but I know it isn't, so I don't know why I'm kidding myself, to be honest. Oh well.
I didn't realise this is like a bit of a river section. That's the River Colne over there. This is classed as Colne Valley, isn't it? Colne Valley? I don't know I'm doing this. <laughs> Colne Valley. I guessed that right, didn't I? You did guess that. I know my rivers. Uh, so today we're coming past where HS2's crossing. Um, that's part of the reason we've got to get up past this bit sooner rather later because from the 1st, is that tomorrow or the next day? Thursday. So from Thursday it's going to be shut till April. So right the way from February, March, whole of April. The whole uh, of April? End of April. Wow. Um, this HS2, for anyone outside the UK, um, HS2's high speed 2 is our England's high speed railway which has been an absolute farce. Billions over budget, years over schedule. It's gonna be half the length they said it was gonna be um, low to stuff. It basically runs from London up to Birmingham. It's not gonna be open till 2029 or 2033 between those years. Um, yeah. I just did that side. Oh wow, I hadn't even done it. It, so, it felt like I'd done the whole lot. What? It felt like you looked back there. It felt like I'd done it. It all go right up, yeah. Look stiff. I think that's it. Yeah. Someone commented on last week's video and said, do, Don't do too much because this one's a strong flow. If you do the opposite side to where your boat is, it shouldn't swing it across. Yeah, makes sense. I couldn't get my head around it for ages. Well, I guess if it opens this side, it's bashing it into the side, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Going across now. Oh dear. Sorry, oh. Up she goes. Woo. Pleasure doing business. Cheers. First time I've had a give way sign on the canal. It's all the HS2 um, bridge laying machine and stuff here. So that way is going to London, Euston, and that way is going to Birmingham. Birmingham, Euston. It's going to take us probably a few weeks, if not months, to get to Birmingham on that train when it's running. Eventually, you'll do it in 49 minutes. Crazy. Just meeting up with Ben from Re and Ben in a second. I think he's the top side of this lock. Um, Going to give him a hand through a few lock stakes. I think it's his first time single handing. Um, so yeah, going to cruise. I have a cruising buddy for the first time. Quick spot breakfast. Sardines. Morning. Oh wow. Well. Yeah, yeah. Just thinking, these banks, they've taken for granted. So when we're on the K&A, everything's like, you need your plank out. We haven't had to I use a plank in ages. I don't think we're ever going to use my long, long plank. plank. I was thinking about yeah. that when I washed it the other day. I was like, oh, what were you... Like, even that wasn't long enough sometimes. <laughs> Look at this. 
balance in it and then it would like fall in the canal. <laughs> oh, you can see why something, luckily we started on the K&A, Kennet and Avon, for what we've done though. It's a bit of a notorious canal uh, for various reasons. Higher boats, liverboards. Um, yeah, K&A is a bit of a notorious canal um, for various reasons. I just nearly dug myself a big hole then, but mainly higher boats. There's a few people that don't move often enough. I think that's fair enough to say. Um, and the banks are awful. This, look at this. <laughs> flat. Like, don't take that for granted. If you're on a canal, you've got flat banks, don't take it for granted. <laughs> Apart from that, k and is beautiful. Bath, Bristol, Bradford on Avon. Devizes. Hungerford was nice. Devizes, lovely. So many nice towns. And it's the closest we can get on the canal to where we used to live with our families and stuff. So, love it. There we go. No holes dug. I think right? you're funny. I am funny. Funny looking. <laughs> Must be some dead round here. There's loads and loads of flies. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Apparently there's sewage works just up there, so they're from that. Nice. Just coming up to the water point here by the Koi Carp Pub. Um, there's like a couple quite severe weirs here with a bit of current looking at Google Maps, so I have to go a bit careful. Uh, I'm going to fill up the water, empty the bins, and then find the next morning. I think we'll have to do one more lot today, um, then wait for Springwell to open up, then go through tomorrow. That's something on the lens. Oh, yeah, you see that? Yeah. We'll get blown over already. No, we're going to get. Try the flat bar in case that's where the water I don't know where the water bins are. So I don't know if I'm going to pull back out around that other boat. Let's have a look. We'll pull in the long side bend, do we? <laughs> that bit there. Look at that. Yeah, but we need to go down here, the water. The bins don't matter, it's the water. Where is it? I don't know. You'll be alright there if you're not. Oh, it's just too late now. I'll see. Right into the water. Don't go into their windows. <laughs> oh my Jesus. <laughs> what is Gosh. that? 
Ah, oh, wait, queue up! <laughs> There's two boats coming down. Hopefully, they don't want the water. So we're just going into the lock. Ben's engine or gearbox is starting to sound a bit funny. Since there was some plastic wrapped around the propeller and obviously had to go really fast past that water. So Joe is now towing a boat. We've never done that before. <laughs> Hope his engine's all right. We're going to look at it after when we get up the lock just because CRT people are waiting. Yeah, I don't know if it's CRT. I think it's the haulage people. Oh, They're really? just helping them people through. Yeah. Two tugs are. <laughs> hey, I'll break that. Might be a bump now. Yeah, what about me? We're all right. <laughs> How did that go so smoothly? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh. That was right. That went surprisingly smooth. Yeah. Captain! <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't there, I don't know, yeah, it's downstream mate, gone. It was as soon as I got through that, then it started going like, oh. I was like, okay, it's just the wave hatch needs to be cleared, but no. Lady Penny Buns are tugged today. <laughs> I get to relax a bit. <laughs> oh, definitely. Engineering, is that the ones that are doing the lock? Poss quite possibly, yeah. Oh, that's the tugs that go up and down with the empty barges. That wide beam's right in the way, isn't it? Yeah. I can't nudge that working one. Sorry, Ben. Just getting fixed in the lock, so it's all good. How close are we to the edge of this one? Go left now. And I'll pick it back up after. Oh. I love that you've never towed before and then it's like an obstacle course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Surprised how much slower you go, isn't it? Yeah. That's alright with me though. <laughs> Perfect. Good morning. So yesterday when I had a quick look at Ben's boat, see what the noise was. It's definitely either between the gearbox, the flywheel and the engine somewhere. It sounds awful. It's like something's come loose, but the gearbox is still engaging. Um, it happened as he went through the um, bywash, which is a really strong current. I think it went like from full throttle forwards and then realised he had to stop the locks. It might have gone into reverse a bit quick um, and the gearbox didn't like it. That's what my assumption is anyway. Um, so we're going to be heading up to Rickmansworth today, towing, which is like two and a bit miles and a couple locks, which would be fun. Um, it's basically just trying to help him get to the winter mooring because his boat's got to come out of the water anyway for some repairs. So if he can hang on until it's got to come out anyway, it's going to work out a bit cheaper to fix it. Love boats. What are you up to this morning? You've got some ingredients laid out. I'm going to make my fire cider that I've been saying for ages. Not really a, a recipe per se or much in cooking. Um, it's mainly just apple cider vinegar and then you put like botanicals I guess in there you've got some honey to sweeten it up and then like it's called fire cider so obviously like some garlic onion uh, chilies ginger turmeric uh, yeah a lot of recipes online sort of vary so I would I've got thyme as well it's meant to be fresh but we haven't got any of that got some cinnamon pepper seed pepper seed peppercorns uh, bay and yeah I'm just gonna like cut it all up or like partially put it in my jar and then pour that over the top and then let it and what is ferment. it like a health thing yeah i mean you could sort of just shot it every day i mean it's good to have apple cider vinegar it gives me real bad heartburn but it'd be nice for like um i don't know dressings or i will just try and drink it with some water it's like meant to keep away all the cold and flu this time of year not bad january done Here we go, day two, tug. Can't see you.
Alright, right, ready when you are. We are free to go. Cool. Obstacle course lifts. Sunken boat to my left. Lots of old working boats, I guess. They look a bit sunken as well, to be honest. I thought narrow boats went slowly, but this is very slow. <laughs> Just cruising along. It's quite an obstacle course up here. There's like boats on either side, some of them are quite wide. Hopefully, Joe will do it fine. So we're just coming up to the lock, but there's two fuel boats and there's obviously someone else coming down the lock now. Um, and there's a side, side flow. Let me show you. So we have side flow here. We've got two high, um, fuel boats. We've got someone obviously coming down the lock because there's a lot of water coming through. And then there's that little dinghy. So it's all a bit... There's the flow there as well. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Is that I can see that. I'm going to jump on and put the bow around the back of the Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> These are the gates that they repaired, right? Brand new, opened yesterday. Lovely bit of oak. It's already going black, look. Do you reckon they'll um, paint them? Paint them. A bit late now, isn't it? In a rush. Yeah, a couple of days late. Nice, aren't they? Beautiful bit of engineering. Better than the ones we had on the K and A. They can use a bit. Yeah, hopefully that's the two hardest bits. We had a um, body wash coming out under a bridge and then there was a fuel boat, double, like a 
twin fuel boat moored up on the lock landing properly so we had to come out you know, a bit nightmare trying to pull in with the flow yeah and then to squeeze past them with a little five glass thing on the other side <laughs> um, and then we had a narrow bit outside the workshop which is quite tricky but apart from that a bit slow going not too bad Second lock, Stocker's Lock is called. Um, and then we're going to have more up after this before the next bridge somewhere in Ripmansworth. They do a boat festival there, but they've had to cancel it because they found a load of buried asbestos, believe it or not. <laughs> Last lock of the day. Next stop, Rick. Oh, yeah, they're dead on yet. <laughs> Just going to steal your boat really slowly. <laughs> really slowly. <laughs> Just won't get very fast. Like half walking pace. You dealt with my ability. You just made me test my <laughs> parallel parking skills. Look, look, look how close this is. And then let's have a look at the bow. Do you want the uh, camera? Have it. There's a bit of room still. I it's all so deceiving. Oh really? It's not coming in. No, no. Um, There's a few foot left. I forgot that Ben and Reed's boat's actually bigger than us, so I wasn't really looking for that size of space, but it fits. It fits. <laughs> Plenty of room. Wide beam. Loads of room. <laughs> at least it's not on the corner as well. Yeah, sensible. Yeah, see, it's quite busy. Rickman's worth that way. Is there anybody in there? <laughs> they get worse and worse, don't they? Oh. Sorry we left you there early. I am going to roll that one. We've been trying to film this for about 10 minutes now. Um, yeah, I popped into town to go pick up a new iPhone. What did you do? You went into town to charity shops. Charity shops going to show you some of my favourite things I found um, in a minute. And the, yeah, we've literally just finished up the live stream that some of you guys have seen on Wednesday. Yeah. It's Thank you thing. guys for anyone that watched that. If you want to go back and check that out, I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah. We answered questions that you guys sent to us, um, which I found really fun. Yes, it's good. I always the enjoy it. Issues. Yeah, we had to um, live streaming issues to begin with. Yeah. So we had to do it on off the webcam again. Yeah. It's like old school, it's really bad really quality. Quite bad but quality. But go and watch it because at the very beginning, a bottle of my homemade kvass spills everywhere. Most weeks twenty k. Woo. Said I haven't had an alcoholic drink this year, and I wasn't going to start yet. Joe did want to open a. Oh my! Joe, 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 Joe. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we'll do another one, maybe at thirty k. If we get to thirty k. Yes. So this is a good time. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Check that it you does subscribe. help. Subscribe. Some people have said, "Oh, I've been watching you for ages. Just realised I haven't subscribed." It means a lot to us if you do subscribe. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're going to leave that there. But I'm going to show you my charity shop finds first. What are you doing? Getting out of your way. So this was 99p. This is a giraffe photo frame, and it's fluffy. And then the books were buy one get one free. So I got. I'm wanting to get two, and then I end up with four. This one, I don't know if any of you have seen it. I saw them on the news, four mums in a boat. And yeah, they're four mums, uh, friends, and they rode 3,000 miles, breaking the world record. I'm pretty sure across the Atlantic Ocean, which is just wild. I find that so inspiring. So yeah, I'd like to read this one. Joe got, this was his choice, P&O, history, a bit boring. And then I got two cookbooks. I don't really want to do calorie. One. I don't really want to do a calorie one, but it's signed by the author, I so this, that's way. the reason we got that one. Yeah, Joe got that one. Yeah, I know, but not a calorie one. I don't care for calorie counting. And then this one. They're not going to fit on my shelf, so I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. Tom Perry. Go on, Tom. If you're watching. And I also got some Adidas trackies for three pound fifty. I might just sell them, but they're like, they're cute. But that's it. 
so yeah we're gonna wrap that up here Joe's gonna finish making some bread I'm gonna wash up I've got work in a couple days well two days yeah um, and next week you're gonna be on the boat on your own again yeah do some more DIY lovely peace and quiet <laughs> love it thank you so much for watching thank you to our patrons thanks for getting us this funny day guys love, yeah we, love you all yeah it's incredible I just I said in the live stream but I was like watching some of our old videos and just yeah like the first video when we had the boat is what sort of like blew us up from 400 subscribers to a thousand and like we were just absolutely buzzing and yeah now that we're got 20,000 is just insane so yeah thank you guys for everyone that watches us and Joe we'll see you next week with some lovely DIY maybe I'll come back for another bookshelf <laughs> see ya also shout out Alan in Cape Town South Africa freshly recovering from heart surgery thank you <laughs> Love you, Alan.